Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Metal Nights with me, the Metal Coach. We're talking about all things rock, hard rock, and heavy metal. Attention all rock and metal enthusiasts. Get ready for an epic journey tonight into the world of progressive metal with Queensryche's great album, Operation Mindcrime. Join me tonight as I dive deep into the tracks that are important to me and that shaped my youth as a teenager. But before we dive into those top tracks on Operation Mindcrime, hit that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment in the comment section. Make that algorithm love the channel. All that and more when the Metal Coach returns up next. And welcome back to Metal Nights with the Metal Coach with me, your host, the Metal Coach. Um, tonight we are going to dive deep into one of the iconic albums that came out in the 1980s. One of my favorite albums of all time. Um, we are talking about Queensryche's iconic Operation Mindcrime. If you listen to anything in the 80s, anything from 88 to 90, you probably listen to Operation Mindcrime from Queensryche, and you probably listen to Empire. In my opinion, their best two albums. Uh, when Jeff Tate left, I lost interest. I liked them okay. To me, Jeff Tate just made Queensryche. Um, but this album is their iconic album. This is the one that started it all for me. I, I liked some of their stuff early on, but after I heard Operation Mindcrime, I was blown away. So let's get right into it. Operation Mindcrime was released on May 3rd of 1988 and is widely regarded as their most iconic and influential album. It's a concept album that tells a complex and gripping story about the dis a disillusioned young man named Nikki who becomes involved in a political assassination plot. The album showcases the band's progressive metal sound with thought-provoking lyrics and intricate musical arrangements. Critics and fans have praised Operation Mindcrime for its strong songwriting, powerful vocal performances by Jeff Tate, and the skillful musicianship displayed by all band members. The album's themes of government corruption, mind control, and personal struggle resonated with listeners and contributed to its enduring appeal. Sounds like some of the stuff we're going through right now, doesn't it? I mean, if you have not listened to this album, you've got to go back and check it out. Many people consider Operation Mindcrime as one of the best concept albums in the history of heavy metal, and it has been recognized as a landmark release within the genre. It has received widespread critical acclaim and solidified Queen's Rights position as one of the leading bands in the progressive metal scene in the late 1980s. Overall, if you're a fan of progressive metal and concept albums, Operation Mindcrime is definitely worth a listen, and it's one that you need to check out. It's an engaging storytelling, impressive musical execution that makes it a standout album in Queensryche's discography. The band at the time of the release of Operation Mindcrime is their classic lineup, consisting of Jeff Tate on lead vocals, Michael Wilton on guitars and backing vocals, Chris DeGarmo on guitars and backing vocals, Eddie Jackson on bass, and backing vocals, and then the amazing Scott Rockenfeld on drums. So get ready tonight. Let's take a trip back down to the mid, the late 80s. We're going to go back through my top tracks of the album, and we're also going to talk about a little bit of my experiences with that album. I mean, I remember the first time I heard it. It was at my best friend's house. His sister just got the album. I was 16 years old. Um, and she asked us to listen to it. I mean, I had heard Queensryche on MTV. I would heard a little bit of their first couple albums. And I was, there was some stuff I liked. There was some stuff I really didn't care for. Um, but man, when I heard Mind Crime, it changed everything for me. It was just so different to me than their other albums. And I was just absolutely hooked. I think we probably listened to that album probably about 10, 15 times last, that night. I mean... And then, of course, we had to go get it ourselves. We had to have our own copy because, I mean, my buddy, he liked them. I liked them. We, we had to go listen to them. Um, and then we went out the next day and got it. Um, and as I listen to this album today, there are still songs that just resonate with me and songs that I absolutely love and songs that I have to listen to off this killer album. So tonight, we're going to go through those tracks and break them down a little bit and tell you why I like them a little bit, okay? So let's get right into Operation Mindcrime right now. Up first on this kick-ass album is the killer mid-up-tempo rocker Revolution Calling. Man, in my opinion, 
This is probably one of their best songs they've ever done, and it's also one of the best songs on the album. Um, Tate's vocals are just so powerful, so melodic. You can just feel the energy. I mean, it, it, there's just something about this song that resonates with me. The lyrics deliver a very captivating message about societal unrest and the call for change, a lot like we're going through in our modern times now. Kind of, it's really weird how it kind of comes back to that a little bit. Um, the band is on fire, driven by the intricate guitar work of DeGarmo and Wilton, Jackson's kick-ass on bass, and Rock and Phil's pounding drums are just mind-blowing. Um, it is a progressive metal fest, in my opinion. Uh, Revolution Calling just grabs your attention, leaves you craving more of the album's compelling storytelling and mu musical brilliance. If you love great progressive metal, you will love this track. Let's crank it up and take a listen to this gem. Let's go right now. <laughs> Up next on this killer album is the killer up-tempo title track, Operation Mindcrime. The heart and soul of this brilliant album. It has always been one of my favorite songs off the album and from the band. The song has such a cool storytelling element to it. Um, and then you add the powerful vocals of Jeff Tate. Um, and you can just really feel the intensity in his vocals. Um, it just really grabs you. The song immerses the listeners in a world of political intrigue and personal struggle. The song progressive metal elements driven by intricate guitar riffs and a rhythmic intensity exemplify the band's musical prowess. Operation Mindcrime captivates and mesmerizes from the get-go and it showcases why this song remains a timeless classic in their catalog. So throw up your rock fist and headbang to this absolute killer track. Let's go right now. With the next song is the mid up tempo rocker called the mission in my opinion it is just a killer track i know it's not one of their biggest ones but man this song is killer to me um tate is on fire on this song with his emotive soaring lyrics the lyrics bring the protagonist's inner turmoil to life you just feel the activity and all the 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 stuff that's going on behind the scenes the song has a powerful combination of melodic verses and soaring choruses that just keep the song in your head all day. The song's arrangement featuring both acoustic and electric elements really set this song apart and showcase the band's musical diversity. The mission takes you on a captivating journey, making it an unforgettable highlight off this album. So let's get ready to rock and check this song out. Let's go right now. Okay, let's just keep this moving right along. Up next is the haunting and epic song, Sweet Sister Mary. Checking in at over 10 minutes long, this dark and theatrical masterpiece features Tate's captivating vocals that are perfectly complemented by Pamela Moore's haunting guest appearance as Mary. This song is so cool the way it starts out slow and this continues to build with intensity. The song's progressive structure combined with its emotional intensity, creates an immersive experience for the listener. The intricate musical arrangements by the band and the storytelling prowess make this a standout gem on this album and in their catalog. This, leaves a, this song leaves a lasting impression and just make you want to hear it over and over. This track showcases the band's artistic brilliance and solidifies its place among the album's best and one of their best of all time. Get ready to rock as we check out this brilliant track. 
Let's go right now. Next, guys, on this killer album is the killer up-tempo metal gem, Breaking the Silence. It's one of my favorites on the album, one of my favorites of all time by the band. The song is so powerful and just really rocks. Um, Tate delivers such an emotionative vocal performance. The lyrics are based on themes of inner turmoil and breaking free from oppression. The rhythm section of Jackson and Rockenfield and the captivating guitar work from DeGarmo and Wilton create an intense atmosphere that keeps you hooked throughout the song, keeps you rocking. Breaking the Silence showcases Queensryche's ability to blend storytelling with their signature progressive metal, making it a standout addition to the album and to their discography. The song leaves a lasting impact, further enhancing the brilliance of this album. Throw up your fist, let's do a little headbanging as we check out this brilliant song. Let's go right now. Up next, guys, is one of my favorite songs of all time, and it is the up-tempo metal gem, I Don't Believe in Love. This is an emotionally charged masterpiece off of Operation Mindcrime. Tate's haunting and soaring vocals convey a powerful tale of heartbreak and skepticism. The song's gripping melody and powerful guitar work from one of the greatest metal guitar duos ever, and DeGarmo and Wilton are mind-blowing. Their solos just strike an emotional chord with the listeners, and my goodness, it's, a, it's brilliant. Um, the rhythm section of Jackson and Rock and Phil give this song the heaviness that it needs to just totally rock. With its raw honesty and poignant lyrics, I Don't Believe in Love stands as one of the album's most memorable tracks. This song captures the essence of the album, solidifying its place as a classic in the realm of progressive metal. So get ready to turn it up to 11 and rock out to this metal gym. Let's go right now. final song that I love on Operation Mindcrime, and it's the progressive metal classic, Eyes of a Stranger. I tell you what, Tate's emotionative and soaring vocals and the song's atmospheric instrumentation from the rest of the band create a captivating journey of progressive metal glory. Just mind-blowing. Great freaking song. The introspective lyrics and haunting melodies leave a lasting impact on the listener. I love how it starts slow and just builds into this absolute metal powerhouse. As Eyes of a Stranger beautifully wraps up this cool concept album and showcases the band's musical brilliance, this track solidifies Operation Mindcrime as a true progressive metal masterpiece and a must-listener for any rock enthusiast. Crank it up as we listen to this metal masterpiece. Let's go right now. There you go. One of the 1980s best albums and one of the best progressive metal albums ever made and the top songs that made it legendary. So what do you think of the album Operation Mindcrime? Is it their best album or do you like another album better from their Tate-led catalog? Let's talk about it. So leave some comments in the comments section. 
let's get some discussion going. Guys, I really appreciate all of your support of the channel. Before you leave tonight, please hit that like and subscribe button to receive future content. Give me a thumbs up. Join me next week as I talk about another one of my favorite bands, the super group, the Damn Yankees, and their self-titled debut album. I want to thank you, as always, for joining me. And remember to keep it fun, keep it metal, crank up something loud, and I will see you guys really, really soon. Take it easy, guys.